Morning and welcome back to the Angry Cook. Today is the beginning of a two-parter. Um, this is something that's uh, kind of new on the internet, uh, kind of new and hot on the internet actually, and it looks really good. Uh, it's called Beef Birria. I think it's Birria. B-I-R-R-I-A. I don't speak Spanish that well. Um, <clears throat> we're going to do that first. It's kind of like a beef stew. Uh, and then we're going to follow that up with a taco recipe using the stewed beef that we have from this portion and uh, it looks really good and you saute the the tortilla in uh, the, the the chili and, and beef fat and then you load it up and you just cook stupid with it. It looks it looks pretty awesome so I'm kind of excited about this one. Um, yes it's wash day again on Mondays. Uh, anyway, we're going to get started. Uh, I did part one last night because I forgot about it, and it was like 8.30 and two gin and tonics in when I remembered I had to do this, so uh, if it's unintelligible, we don't understand why. Um, so we're going to finish up the beef stew today, the beef birria today, and then the uh, beef tacos uh, with a consomme dip tomorrow. Wednesday, whatever. So this is going to be Wednesday's and Saturday's edition, I think. Because I think I got one out more in the queue somewhere that I haven't done yet. So we'll see. We'll see how it all works out. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Pay attention. Uh, all right. Well, uh, we're going to start this bad boy off. Uh, we need to marinate our uh, <clears throat> short ribs and our chuck roast. Chuck roast, chuck roast, chuck roast. Faster. Um, to do said marinade, marinois, marinade, we're going to do Four tablespoons, no, four teaspoons of kosher salt. That's a tablespoon and a teaspoon. We're going to add a teaspoon of black pepper. We're going to make this about approximate. Remember, this is Mexican, so spice is nice. <clears throat> we're going to do, we're going to do what? We're going to do te two teaspoons of uh, Mexican oregano. I cannot find Mexican oregano anywhere. So uh, I'm going with regular oregano. The taste is totally different from what I understand. But I got to deal with what I got, and this is what I got. We're going to go with a teaspoon of cumin. Just you know, and what Mexican dish? What Mexican dish isn't isn't right without cumin in it, huh? Uh, I use it in tacos. I use it in guacamole and stuff. And a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. Cloves. Yes, I said cloves. And cinnamon and then and then and then and then and then and then a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon and then and then and then. We're going to mix this nicely. My own little uh, spicy bowl. My uh, batteries from our big cam are still charging. I discharged them totally last night trying to get rid of this freaking uh, stopping issue that it's been having. So I'm dealing with what I got. Tomorrow when we finish this dish, 
I'll have everything together. <laughs> I know that's a laugh, isn't it? Um, we're going to take our uh, spare ribs, our beef ribs. We're going to cut them to the bone. Now, we got the bone here. Usually the bone is in the middle, like this, and you cut down here. So, we're just going to cut into some to expose some more meat surface. And then we're going to take our chuck roast. And we're going to do this in a kind of big pieces. Come on, Chucky. Chuck roast. Say hi to Chuck. We're going to cut this into... Uh, I'm looking for bone. Hang on a second. There isn't any. Good. Into large hunks. And I'll show you what a hunk is in a minute. Kind of like that. And I'll pull the cam down in a minute and show you what's on the on the, the uh, surface here. Stove cam, oven cam, relegated to cam in the uh, cam in a cupboard, cupboard cam. So uh, there's our meat. And we're going to season this with the uh, seasoning we just made, generously. The reason I'm doing this at night is because I just read the damn recipe again and realized this has to sit. Um, you want to let this sit at least six hours, overnight's preferable. So we're going to do a little overnighter here. Um, Go, go, oh. We're turning the meat over to get the other side. And we're going to pour all the seasoning that's on the board here into uh, our little soup pan here. And I'm going to tap that down. And this is what we're using to uh, store it. And we're going to throw it all in here. It's a lot of meat. This is really going to break down big time tomorrow when we cook it. Uh, look this up in Google. This is a uh, Unlike most things I do, is this is quite the rage right now in the uh, in the younger set, <laughs> and um, it looks really good. Uh, we're gonna make two dishes with this. This is part one of two. Uh, we're gonna be doing a, a beef birria stew, and then we're gonna make birria tacos for part two. Uh, nothing's conventional here, so. Uh, Pay attention to it, and I think you're going to enjoy this because uh, it looks really awesome. Especially when we put the chilies in, and we uh, we uh, cook this off tomorrow. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow, same bat time, same bat channel. Okay, did the uh, the beef last night? Set the fridge overnight, marinated nicely in the spices. Went shopping again this morning. Can't find, for the life of me, I can't find Mexican. Um, Mexican uh, oregano. I don't know where it is. So, anyhow, we're going to start by prepping our uh, guajillo chilies. We're just going to take the top off just kind of shake and maneuver the CDs out of here. Maybe you want to tear it open a little bit so you can see them. They should shake out for the most part. 
and you want to get most of them out. Doesn't say anything about the ribs, so I'm going to let the ribs alone. Scottish. I can't see how you can do better than that, huh? <clears throat> Think about it. Okay. <clears throat> we also are going to need, it says three large tomatoes, but it's December. And you know what tomatoes look like at the grocery store. And I just refused to buy that pink crap. So I bought canned whole tomatoes, uh, peeled, and I uh, called for two cups of water. I have this aversion to putting water in anything uh, that I'm cooking if I have a flavorful liquid that I can use as an alternative. I use the liquid out of the tomatoes, filled it, and finished it up with water. Um, I just, uh, there's too many flavors. Uh, out there in the world to settle for water in anything you're cooking. Just plain water. So, I didn't. So we're going to uh, turn on our ninja thingy. Hi. Hi. Start. And two tablespoons of Two tablespoons of olive oil. That out of here. One, two. And we're not using stove cam today. My life is difficult enough right at this moment without trying to do two cams with all the problems I've been doing. So we're going to let that warm up a touch. Then we're going to saute our uh, right here. I don't even know if I pronounced that right. Chilies for like 30 seconds in the olive oil. Then we're going to add the rest of our ingredients here and simmer for 30 minutes. So stand by. Just trying to get some essence out of them and uh, fortify them more by sauteing. I did have stove cam on. These the oil, olive oil is taking on a reddish uh, tinge from the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, from the uh, peppers. Thirty seconds off. Add Oh. Okay. Okay. 
simmer uh, until we start to boil and we're going to bring it to uh, medium low and simmer for 30 minutes. Okay, here we are, 30 minutes later. I'm going to turn this bad boy off. Take that out of there. And we're going to use the immersion blender to, uh, to uh, try to get it as smooth as we can. taste of this because I'm very curious. Straight the bottom as well the goodness is. in. 
this is going to be an unholy freaking mess. I can tell you that right now. Um, let's do the ladle thing. And uh, yeah, bay leaves, honey, vinegar, and chicken broth. We did bring to a boil over high heat, lower to medium low. Stir gently, stir occasionally until the meat is fall apart three to four hours. Skim fat off the top, reserve for future birria queso tacos. That's the next episode. So uh, we're going to uh, go for about three or four hours. Probably about four hours um, at a simmer at uh, medium low, and uh, we'll let you know when it's uh, plating time, and we'll check it out together. Okay, here we are, beef birria. Now I've taken and shredded the meat that was in there. I did that about half an hour ago. I just let it sit in its juices. Let's see if we can get some of this. I reduced the uh, the sauce by probably a good 50%. So it's down to a thick sauce now instead of a thin runny broth. To serve this, put in your bowl a little cilantro, diced onion. Wedgie of uh, lime. I'm going to tell you that I had a taste of the uh, of the broth as it was cooking, and it was simply outrageously good. Um, I'm sorry, I doubted Mexican cuisine. This is uh, outstanding. So. I 
I am really looking forward to this big time. So, uh, I can't think of the, of the Spanish word for bon appetit, but uh, whatever it is, try it. I can't get the damn thing. You may want to try a spoon with this, too. I'm telling you, that is out of this world. That is astronomically good. I can't wait to have some tacos tomorrow or Wednesday, whichever we happen to make it. I have a chicken breast in the fridge. I may very well <clears throat> cook up and uh, shred and have to uh, this sauce. This sauce is just phenomenal. You've got to try this. Honest to God, you've got to try this. This is one of the best things I've ever eaten. See ya.